I'll show you how to link your YouTube channel to your AdSense account in this video. This video will be helpful if you are applying for monetization for the first time or if you are trying to change your current AdSense account to a new one due to some reasons I will explain shortly. For any of these reasons, you might need to change the AdSense account associated with your YouTube channel. One, if you couldn't complete the verification process in AdSense, this could lead to ads not showing on your videos and your monetization being paused. Two, if Google, for some reason, closed or deleted your AdSense account, probably due to you violating some of their terms and conditions. Three, if you select the wrong country while signing up for AdSense and want to change it back, unfortunately, you won't be able to change the country in AdSense. Four, if you relocate to another country and you want your payment domiciled in your new location, like the previous reasons, you can't change the country you select earlier in AdSense. This and many more can be a reason for changing the current AdSense account associated with your YouTube channel. So I will show you the easy steps to follow to get your revenue coming in uninterrupted. Hello guys, welcome back. If you're new here, you're also welcome. I do share tips and make tutorials for content creators on this channel. So if you love watching helpful videos like this, do subscribe to this channel and turn the notification on so that you won't miss helpful videos like this in the future. Suppose you find yourself facing any of the reasons I mentioned earlier. In that case, you are probably on the verge of losing your monetization. And setting up a new AdSense account and linking it to your YouTube channel is not that difficult but a wrong step along the process might cost you a lot. So I will show you how to do all that in this video. I created chapters on this video so you can go to any of them that attends to your interest. And if you just reach the YouTube Partner Program threshold, that is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours, this video will be a good guide in completing your monetization process. The first thing to do if you want to change the AdSense account that is associated with your YouTube channel is to create a new Google account. But if you are applying for monetization for the first time, you don't have to do that. So you can skip the Google account creation part of the process. So to create a new Google account, you go to google.com. If you are logged in, click on your profile image on the top right corner and click add another account. Then click on create account. Then select my personal use. Enter your name and the name you want to use for the new Google account or Gmail and enter a password and confirm it. Click next to enter your phone number, birthday and gender and click next. Then click not now because you are not ready for a business profile. With these steps, you have set up a new Google account. Now go back to your YouTube studio monetization page. Under the YouTube Partner Program option, you will see the ID of the AdSense account currently associated with your channel. The one here ends with 902 and definitely yours will differ. And it was associated with this channel on 20 January 2022. Now to remove this AdSense account from this channel and change it with a new one, I will click on Change. This will notify me that I must verify that I am the channel owner. So click proceed. Enter your password here and click next. Verification will be sent to your phone depending on how you set up your security with your Google account. Accept it which will take you back to your YouTube studio monetization page with this information. Here it says if you are changing to another active AdSense account, it will take a few minutes, but if you are creating a new AdSense account, it will take up to several days. And also, you will need to wait 32 days before you can make another change on the channel. So this means that if you decide to change to another AdSense account, you will have to wait for 32 days before you can make another change. Now, I'm about to create a new AdSense account because the new Google account I created does not have an AdSense account. In case you don't know, every AdSense account must be associated with a Google account. And you can only create one AdSense account with one Google account. So I'm using this process to create an AdSense account for the new Google account I just created. So I will click continue. 
Now on this page, click on use another account and enter the name of the new Google account you created. So I will enter the name of the new Google account I just created and click next and enter the password. If you did it correctly, this will take you to the Google AdSense sign up page. If you are applying for monetization for the first time, after you are done reviewing the partner program terms, which is the first step, start the second step which is sign up for Google AdSense. Then select no, I don't have an existing account and continue. In that case, this will also take you to the Google AdSense sign up page. Whether you are changing your associated AdSense account or you are setting up for monetization for the first time, the process is the same from this point. You can choose yes and select the country where you will receive your payment or the country where your bank is domiciled. Remember that you can't change the country you selected later, so be sure the country you want to select. Accept the agreement and click create account. You will need to submit your information, that is your name and address. Make sure the address you enter here is accessible to the postal service in your area because this is the address where a PIN from Google will be sent for verification. And if the address is not accessible, you may likely not get verified and eventually you may lose your monetization. So ensure the address you use here is accessible. You can enter your phone number, that is optional, and then click the submit button. Then click the redirect link. This will take you back to YouTube Studio. So while AdSense is reviewing your information, step two on your monetization page will be in progress. In my case, the process was completed in hours. As you can see, the former AdSense account ID ends with 902 and the new one ends with 055. This shows that the change was successful. So I have successfully changed the associated AdSense account to a new one. If you are applying for monetization for the first time, your monetization page will look like this after the AdSense account has been linked to your YouTube channel. A review on your channel will continue. So you have to wait until your channel is finally reviewed in order to go to the next step. The next step is to go back to AdSense and complete some important tasks. And your home page should look like this after the review. Now you have to perform four more steps to complete the whole process. These steps apply to both if you are applying for the first time or changing your associated account, but they depend on your region. They are identity verification, tax info submission, adding payment method, and address verification. In some countries, you will not be required to complete all. But I'm sure in Nigeria and other African countries, you'll be required to complete all of them. I will start with identity verification by going to the payment info page or clicking on the action page. Click on verify now. Now in my country, which is Nigeria, I'm required to provide either a driver's license, national identity card, or an international passport. Yours might be different depending on the country you choose. Before you begin the process, ensure that a copy of the one you will use is ready. And the document should be like this. The document should be visible, the edges of the document also visible, and no reflection on any part of it. When you are ready, click Begin Verification. Enter the name on the document and click Upload to upload the document. If your document does not meet the standard, you will get this error. So I will remove this and upload the correct one. Now I'm good to go to the next page. Next, enter your address and submit the form. You will get this display when the verification is successful and you will receive a mail from Google confirming the same. So click got it. You can check the verification check page to confirm these steps as well. So after the identity verification step, the next step is to enter your tax info. If you don't enter this information, Google will deduct 30% of all your earnings as tax for the US government. But if you enter the info, 
only 30% of your earnings from the US will be deducted. The amount will typically be smaller compared to if you do not enter your tax info. Also, the tax on your earnings might be even smaller or outrightly exempted if your country has a tax treaty with the US government. So click on Add Tax Info, then Start Tax Form. Sign into your Google account and select Individual. If you are not a US citizen, select No. Then select the first option, which is W8BEN, if you are a non-US individual. Then click Start W8BEN form. Then enter your name and country. Others are optional, but if you have them, please enter them. Then click Next. Enter your address. And if your postal address is the same as your address, then check this box and click Next. Here, I selected no because my country does not have a tax treaty with the US. So, I can't claim a reduced tax rate. If your country has a tax treaty with the US government, you select yes and next. On the next line, check the box to confirm your information is correct and then click next to continue. Confirm your identity by selecting yes. Enter your name again and then click next. If you haven't performed any activities or services for Google, select no and check the box to certify. Most of you will definitely fall into this category. So next, select the first option if the tax info is for a new or existing payment profile that hasn't received payment before. Then click next and select go paperless to get the tax documents through email. Then check the box to accept and finally click the submit button. If all is good, you get this message, your tax info for the US state has been accepted and the status is approved. Now you can dismiss the info card above and go to the home page to confirm that everything is set. So now we are done with the tax info submission. So the next step is to add a payment method, which means linking your bank account to your AdSense account so that on the payment date, you don't have to do anything, but rather your earnings will be deposited into your bank account automatically. For this AdSense account, I won't be able to add a payment method because the earnings here haven't reached the $100 threshold. Until then, I won't be able to add a bank account to this AdSense account. So I will use another AdSense account to demonstrate this. This account has crossed the $100 threshold with no payment method. So I will add a new one by clicking either add payment method or update. Add payment method again. Then you have two options here. I always recommend you choose the first option, which is add new wire transfer details. If you select this option, your earnings will be paid directly to your bank account. But if you choose the second option, which is add new check details, Google will send you a check in your favor to your address through postal service. In my own opinion, this option is not safe if your country doesn't have a reliable postal service because the check will be delivered by postal mail service. And if anything goes wrong, your check will miss in transit. So I will choose the first option, enter the name of the bank account, the name of the bank, the SWIFT code, and the account number. That's all. And if your bank needs an intermediary bank to process your payment, you also add the intermediary bank details here. Contact your bank to know if they need an intermediary bank to process a wire transfer. So finally, check the set as a primary payment method and save. With this, you have successfully linked your bank account to your AdSense account. If you want a detailed explanation on how to link your bank account to your AdSense account, I have a dedicated video on that, so you can check the link in the description. The final step is to enter a PIN. A PIN will be sent from Google through the postal service to your ad address. All you need to do is to enter the PIN sent to you. And this particular stage might take several weeks or months, depending on how soon you get the PIN. Something worth noting here is that your ads will stop serving if you don't use the PIN to verify your address within 4 months 
from the date on which the first pin was mailed. It usually takes three weeks to get the pin in the mail. So ensure that you have provided the correct payment address to prevent any issue with the pin delivery. And some of you have asked if you can change the address in AdSense. Yes, you can if you think the address is a reason for not receiving the pin. But know that you have only three more attempts to resend the pin. And for each resend, you have to wait two to three weeks before you can try another resend. So you can check my videos related to AdSense pin and other options available in the description box. When you complete these steps, your AdSense account is set to receive payment from YouTube and you can start earning and receiving payment from Google. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know by giving it a thumbs up and also appreciate this effort by sharing this video to others. Someone might need a total assistance on how to apply for monetization on YouTube. So they will need to watch this video. So please do share. And if you need a dedicated assistance with this process, you can join my channel's membership. And you can also connect with me by following me on Instagram. Thanks for watching. See you soon.